My name is Joanne Villanueva Salvador, and I'm a career counselor at UCSB. Today's workshop will focus in on answering commonly asked questions that students typically have when exploring majors. Congratulations on being admitted to UCSB. As you embark on this new adventure, take advantage of accessing resources and services on campus to ensure your academic, professional, and personal success during the next four years at UCSB. During your first year at UCSB, it is important to take time to reflect about who you are. Before starting to explore your major, ask yourself, why am I interested in this major? How does this major match with who I am? This picture is a great representation of what you are striving for. The center of this diagram represents your ideal career. Therefore, take the time to identify your interests, personality, values, and strengths as they all intersect and are related to one another. Consider how all of the factors intertwine and overlap in comparison to the major you are considering. One resource to consider taking is an assessment called Focus 2. In order to create a new account, simply use your UCSB email and enter in Gaucho as your access code. A common question asked by students is, what should I major in at UCSB? Sometimes students express interest in pursuing business, finance, nursing, or journalism, but realize that these majors are not actually offered at UCSB. Other times, students are simply feeling lost and not quite sure what, ma what to major in. Meanwhile, others have declared a major, but sometimes do not completely understand what this major entails. So let's start with understanding what is actually available at UCSB and gain a better sense of what these various undergraduate majors mean. You can start by browsing through the Registrar's Office Undergraduate Majors Directory. Take the time to understand what the pre-major and major requirements are for majors you might be interested in pursuing. In addition, read through the descriptions of both the lower division and upper division coursework to see whether or not you find these topics interesting. As you explore possible majors, check out the program learning outcomes, otherwise known as PLOs, which are located also in the undergraduate majors directory. Each undergraduate department has determined that every student who graduates from their major will demonstrate either a mastery of knowledge, understanding, or skills as a result of studying this academic discipline. Are these subject areas you can see yourself wanting to learn more about and gain more expertise in. One final tip is this. Talk with current students in the majors you are considering. In addition, chat with your professors during their office hours to understand what this major has to offer. Sometimes this can be intimidating to talk one-on-one -on -one with your professor, but it's important to engage in these types of important conversations. However, just be sure to keep in mind, this is someone's personal opinion. It's best to make up your own mind based on speaking to several individuals, not just one. Use your best judgment and take everything with a grain of salt. Another commonly asked question is, what types of careers can I do with my major? Some of you will pursue careers related to your major and leverage the specific knowledge you learn in class for your future career, while others may not pursue careers that are directly related to the major that you pursue. One resource to help answer this question is what can I do with this major? 
an online resource which is available to you for free. Use this resource to discover careers, employers, and job search strategies related to majors offered at UCSB. You can also browse through LinkedIn profiles of UCSB graduates and join UCSB's alumni gaucho network. This is a great way to, act to see actual career tra trajectories of former alumni and discover firsthand the enormous range of career possibilities that might be available to you after graduating with a, a certain major from UCSB. According to the most recent American Community Service conducted by the US Census Bureau, 73% of college graduates indicated that their current job was not related to their undergraduate major. As a result, one common myth we would like to debunk is that your major dictates your future career. For the, mass, the vast majority of career majors, this simply isn't true. It is important to complement your academic degree by gaining relevant experience in the industries that you are considering. Another popular question asked by many students is, should I double major, minor, or pursue certificates while at UCSB? To start off with, it is important to understand that double majoring, minoring, or pursuing a certificate does not necessarily guarantee that it will make you more marketable or attractive to employers or graduate schools. So let your genuine interests guide you instead. If you are considering a double major, as long as it does not negatively affect your overall GPA and you are truly fascinated by both majors, then go ahead and pursue both. In addition, if one major complements the other, for example, combining a science and a humanities major, then it might be an interesting combination which results in the acquisition of different skill sets and knowledge bases. Similar to the ma exploring major options at UCSB, you can also browse through the Office of the Registrar's Undergraduate Minors Directory to explore possible minors to pursue. There are some minors, such as poverty, inequality, and social justice, or applied psychology, that are not offered as full majors at UCSB, yet could still provide students with unique expertise as a minor. Another option to consider is certificates offered through UCSB's professional and continuing education. If you wish to grow your expertise within various career related areas, it is important to keep in mind that typically financial aid is not available to cover tuition costs for these PACE courses, which means you may incur additional out of pocket costs. Sometimes students also ask, what is the difference between earning a Bachelor of Science versus a Bachelor of Arts degree? For certain majors that offer these two options, the answer to this complicated question varies case by case. However, in most situations, it is important to have a broad understanding of what qualifications are typically required for the types of positions for which you wish to apply. Conduct research to determine what a majority of the jobs are interested in require, a BS or a BA degree. For most jobs, it won't matter, but for many re science-related jobs and graduate programs, especially those entailing rigorous lab work, it may be advantageous to pursue a BS degree since you are gaining more skill sets and completing more course coursework relevant to that specific industry. Healthcare graduate programs, for example, medical school or PA school, are important exceptions to the rule since they do not necessarily require a BA or a BS and are typically interested in knowing that you have fulfilled the specific prerequisite course requirements.
many students might be considering additional education after your undergraduate degree and want to pick the right major to prepare for graduate school. First and foremost, it is important to select a major in which you are going to excel in and earn the highest GPA possible. Beyond your academic performance, many additional factors go into whether or not you are admitted into a graduate program, such as your completed prerequisites, letters of recommendation, test scores on graduate standardized exams, and your practical experience. Therefore, another popular myth we would like to debunk is that your major determines what you can study in graduate school. It is quite common for students to study in a very different subject in graduate school from what they studied during their undergraduate years. As you navigate through exploring majors and careers you are interested in, there are important decisions you will need to make along the way. Here's an example explaining the process of decision-making through the Kasave model, which involves communication, analysis, synthesis, valuing, and execution. We encourage all students to meet with a career counselor to help you make a well-informed decision about your major and career options. In addition to assisting in exploring majors and careers, here's a brief overview of the additional services we provide. Document review, allows students to receive quick feedback on their resumes and cover letters. Drop-in advising allows students to chat about a quick career-related question. Individual appointments allow students to meet privately with a counselor for 10, 30 minutes. Career education workshops allow students to attend a workshop which entail various core career topics ranging from resume, cover letters, interviewing, job search, LinkedIn, networking, just to name a few. And lastly, recruiting events allow students to participate in quarterly career fairs and engage in 150 plus information sessions per year. Here's a picture in which you can meet our extraordinary team of career counselors, each one specializing in a different career path, ranging from education and human services, science and health, communications and art, business and entrepreneurship, engineering and technology, as well as law and government. Finally, we wanted to remind you to update your career interest in Handshake in order to get personalized guidance and specialized invitations that match your career interests. Please check out our website at career.ucsb.edu for more information. And we look forward to seeing you engage with career services in the near future.